We've all been there. That sinking feeling of inadequacy, the comparison game. We replay past mistakes, imagining different outcomes. We get stuck in a cycle of self-pity, feeling powerless to change. It's a comfortable trap, this negativity. But comfort rarely leads to growth. Self-pity whispers that we're uniquely flawed, our struggles insurmountable. It thrives on isolation, convincing us we're alone in our pain. We become paralyzed, fearing further failure. Breaking free requires courage, a willingness to confront these limiting beliefs. The past is a seductive storyteller. It whispers what ifs and if onlys. We dwell on past hurts, replaying scenarios where we were wronged or made mistakes. This focus on the past is an illusion of control. We can't change what happened, only how we react to it. Reliving past pain keeps us stuck. Letting go of the past doesn't mean forgetting. It means choosing to focus on what we can influence, the present moment. Right now is where our power lies. By shifting our attention to the present, we reclaim our agency. The present moment is a gift. It's an opportunity to start fresh, to make different choices. When we focus on the now, our minds quiet. We can see our thoughts and feelings with clarity. This awareness is crucial. It allows us to choose our response rather than reacting habitually. We can choose courage over fear, action over paralysis. The present moment is where we find our strength. Transformation rarely happens overnight. It's a gradual process of small, consistent actions. We don't need grand gestures. Start with something manageable. Set a small goal today. Focus on that one step. Celebrate your wins, no matter how small. Each step forward builds momentum. It reinforces our belief in ourselves. We start to see what's possible. Perfectionism is the enemy of progress. It sets unrealistic expectations, fueling self-doubt and procrastination. Embrace imperfection. It's in our mistakes that we learn and grow. Give yourself permission to stumble. View setbacks as opportunities for learning, not failures. This shift in perspective is liberating. It allows us to experiment, to take risks without fear of judgment. We become more resilient. Action is the antidote to self-pity. It shifts our energy from rumination to creation. Choose one small action you can take today. Write that email, go for a walk, Make that phone call you've been putting off. Each step, no matter how small, moves us forward. We begin to see ourselves differently. We are not our past mistakes. We are capable of change. We are worthy of love and belonging. We are enough.